Nukayak ethinada, Kulina zida guides at Ininde, Nank all the Renuni the Ninde, Yak and Rata, Uk Esider in Nenakathina Ratraninda, Bet Ards in a Donald U Aranai, Duns in a Gaina Ronuchu, Danuran, who slain the Norte, who are Ronile, who Esita Nuran, who sent an Othi de Nuhanonile, Nuhuetni, who slain Nudicha, Nuhayu an Anilet, Abaslina, who chair put in there. That's the Our Father in Chippewa. The Diocese of Mackenzie Fort Smith, we kind of argue with the Diocese of Churchill, Hudson Bay, that we're the largest diocese in the world land-wise. But we're only made up of about 22,000 Catholics in the whole area and 45,000 people all together. So we're extremely spread out. Um, we go right to the North Pole, and so uh, I and the other diocese argue who gives Santa Claus envelopes, so uh, uh, we claim them ourselves anyway. But uh, it's a diocese that uh, includes primarily um, Inu Inuvialuit and uh, Dene uh, Aboriginal peoples. And there is some Cree as well. Uh, but they would probably make up about 70% of our population. I think our culture tends to see us as the stewards of creation, that we're there to manipulate creation to make it produce. Whereas the Aboriginal people say, we are the least aware of all God's creatures because we're here the shortest time. And they say the land and the water, the rock and the trees, water can teach us the most because they've been here the longest and they'll be here long after us. The pristineness and the sense that the Creator has done, has been there and has created that is I think really uh, evident. The land uh, grounds us. The people of the north tend to be people of the land. And so that's a, a real blessing. And uh, I have to admit, I, I, I love the Aboriginal people in terms of, uh, you know, it's kind of a big thing, but I think authentically the people's simplicity and uh, sense of humor and uh, their, uh, their, their spirituality, uh, their sense of the spiritual is really, um, I find, uh, rewarding. In a society where a lot of places have lost a lot of sense of the spiritual, it's still present and alive in our Aboriginal people there. And uh, in a sense, they get priesthood. God is still very important. And so anything that's connected to a God is valued. And that comes through in how they look at uh, religion and people and, and priests and other people trying to work for God. How do we allow the new generations to really experience the gospel and the gift that it is? And so I think that uh, we can benefit in the north from some of the people able to uh, share some of that richness. And I think the north can benefit uh, the Edmonton area as well in a sense of uh, understanding some of the gifts of simplicity, humility, taking time. My understanding of a, a twinning type of relationship, a lot of it is about developing relationships, personal relationships between different peoples. The more we get to know each other and understand each other, I think the more we receive. And then different ways we support and help each other has a much healthier component. And so I think always our first step is, how do we begin to get to know each other and trust each other? We're asking people to support um, positive projects that help to build the spiritual health of a community. This is about uh, building a church. This is about helping with um, a Rachel's Vineyard or a Grief to Grace program, which is uh, working with people who have been sexually abused. Um, it's supporting youth ministry and trying to reach a new generation. I'd just like to thank uh, Archbishop Smith and the Archdiocese for the openness to uh, kind of embrace this and to have a, a, a willingness and uh, concern to um, be open to some of the challenges that are experienced um, a few thousand kilometers just straight north of uh, where, where we are here. Thank you. Masicho Kunnaini.